Well, if you ever had the odd feeling that you were being watched, it could have been from an owl. I've yet to see an owl since I've been down here, but this is a photo sent in by Shirley. She calls it a night owl at my house, and it's just kind of sitting there glaring at her as she's taking this photo. Really cool shot, though, so thanks to Shirley for uploading it. But aside from that, the birds and everything, the owls are probably inside as we have those showers and those thunderstorms rolling through. And it's a good idea for you to get inside as well. If you can, if you don't have to travel, please don't. These thunderstorms are rather strong, not severe, but they do pack a punch in terms of quite a bit of heavy rain. As you can see, some frequent lightning as well, and maybe even some gusty winds. So heavy rain is falling around places like Geiger over into Sumter County. Scuba is tapping into this, not the best of rides across portions of 45 and Highway 16. DeKalb is tapping into this, Moscow also as you head towards Dewey's House, Rio, and even around Little Rock and even down towards Decatur, showers and thunderstorms impacting this area with some very heavy rain and portions of I-20 dealing with this across portions of Scott County and even as you make your way into Smith County dealing with some wet weather. A lot of this is about to impact areas around Raleigh. So we have these showers and thunderstorms rolling in out ahead of a cold front that's going to gradually slide through. It's going to take its time, but as it does, it is going to lead to those showers and thunderstorms throughout the overnight heading into tomorrow. So as far as midnight, some of you may hear some rumbles of thunder. Otherwise, you may just hear the sound of rain on your windows and it may help you sleep better if you like the sound of rain. Six o'clock. In the morning tomorrow, some of you will have a rather rainy kickoff to your day. Again, there could be some downpours out there, so allow extra drive time. Through midday, there's a chance for some scattered showers, maybe some thunderstorms. Three o'clock, a similar scenario. And then as we head towards the evening, there could be a few showers out there, although a lot more drier spots as we head towards 7 p.m. But if you catch a shower, it could bring you a good downpour. But gradually, we're expecting things to wind down by tomorrow evening. Again, affiliated with that cold front and an upper level feature that's kind of aiding it along. Also, the upper level feature is going to bring uh, Helene towards the north. As far as the water temperatures out there, again, well within the 80s. Notice the darker shade of red here. This is the Gulf Loop there that leads to warmer waters and could really help to fuel or rapidly intensify Helene as it makes its way over it. Here's a check of what's happening out there. And again, it's still trying to get its act together. It's still in the northwestern Gulf uh, Caribbean Sea, I should say, approaching the Yucatan Channel. But officially, it's still a tropical storm with max winds of 60 miles per hour. It is strengthening, though, again, warmer, uh, should I say, stronger than it was at 6 o'clock, and it's going to continue to strengthen as it pushes over those warmer waters. So it is expected to become a hurricane tomorrow, and then from that point, it could become a major hurricane, again, rapidly intensifying, potentially as a Category 3, as it makes its way towards that Big Bend part of Florida. But anywhere from Panama City to Tampa really needs to be on guard in terms of a landfall, but the effects of this system will be felt well away from the comb, per se, all throughout the peninsula, throughout portions of the southeast as a whole, and some of the remnants will be bringing impacts to places like Tennessee and Kentucky. As mentioned, numerous alerts up and down the peninsula, also throughout portions of Georgia, uh, and there is a hurricane warning in place for the Big Bend area, and the storm surge affiliated with this could get anywhere from 12 to 15 feet across this area as well, and that could be deadly, so hopefully folks are taking action there. As far as rainfall amounts, up to a foot in some spots, and they can have some really good amounts up towards places like Atlanta and even up towards Nashville. Our local area Area, the rain we'll see more so will be from a cold front and not from Helene. As far as your forecast for tonight, it's going to be a wet go of it. Showers and thunder thunderstorms expected upper 60s for lows, which will be a little above the average. And for your Wednesday, don't forget that umbrella. It will be a rainier kickoff to the day, and we should see improving conditions by the afternoon. But here's that 10-day forecast attended is sponsored by the Stephen Wilson Law Firm. We hit the low 90s today. Notice tomorrow is going to be a struggle to hit the low 80s. So temps about 10 degrees cooler, and we'll keep with that below average trend through the rest of the week. So if you're looking for a fall feel. I was just about to say fall is here. slowly moving in.